What is going on guys, Hayes Inc here, welcome back to the channel for another Street Fighter Duel video. And in today's video we're going to be talking about getting over the wall. You know what I'm talking about. You've been playing this game and there's going to be points in this game where you come smacking hard into a wall and you will feel like you cannot progress. The game will try and get you to spend money and, I mean, if you're a fool like me you'll do that. But if you are a player who is determined to play this game free to play, then I'm here to tell you there is ways for you to progress as a free to play player. So, first off, let's talk about the things that you should be doing as a free to play player to ensure that you are constantly inching forward with your progression in this game, okay? Start with the basics. Always, always, always be collecting your idol rewards, okay? With your idol rewards, you are going to be able to move forward in this game by simply doing nothing. Patience is the key. Patience is the thing that will allow you to beat more and more content. And as long as you are not competing against someone else on a leaderboard that makes absolutely no difference to your gameplay experience, you will constantly continue to get stronger in this game without doing anything, right? Without doing anything at all. Now, obviously for some of you, you lack patience. So what do you do when you cannot beat a stage, okay? So, first off, before you even think about doing things like building a new team, summoning new characters, there's something very simple that you can try that can actually help you move forward quite significantly. And it's called combo switching. So you've got all your different combos that you use, okay? And let's just say, for example, you're using the combo that I've got at the top there, okay? Now, I know some of you will go, oh, he's Inc, I mean, you're using Bison. How can you talk about not being able to progress? Even if you've got Bison, you're going to later on hit a wall and it's the same thing, right? Using the combo that you've got might not be working for you, okay? And through watching how you are actually playing in that stage that you're stuck on, you will realise quickly that, hang on, I'm having issues with my damage output, I'm having issues surviving, I'm having issues with defence that I've got. That is when you decide, okay, hang on, that's not working for me. Well, maybe what I need to do is make sure my buffer actually goes second, who's going to give me some additional defence. Maybe I'm not running enough AoEs. Simply by doing things like swapping the type of combo that you're using, you can actually find that you will significantly do more stages. I, myself, was stuck at, I think it was 1940, and I just couldn't figure out what was happening. And all I did was change my combo. I, I literally just changed the combo I was using. Not only did I beat 1940, I ended up beating the next 10, 15 stages after that by doing nothing other than changing the combo, okay? Another thing you can do, and this can make a bit of difference to you as well, when it comes to your EXs, so you can see here I've got three different EXs, okay? If I've got the EXs like this, what actually happens is Crazy Potato and Breath of Rage activate at round about the same time, and I don't know whether it's a bug, right? I don't know if it's a bug, but the game can't seem to activate two EXs at the same time. So what would happen was, I was actually getting Breath of Rage activating and then Crazy Potato was being wasted. So I was losing a shield, I wasn't getting the actual healing from that effect. It just, it was as if it didn't work at all. And now when I run something like this, what actually happens is I get Crazy Potato working, two seconds later I get Nature's Advent and then just after it I get Breath of Rage. Now doing that again helped me to clear more stages. So try switching about the placement of your EXs because it can make a difference. It can literally be the thing that will allow you to just get over that hump and get through the next couple of stages until you inevitably hit a wall again. But it just keeps you inching forward more and more and more. And that is what you've got to do in this type of game. Again, you can spend money, but if you don't want to do that, this is the way to move forward. Now, that's us talked about a really simple way to try and inch out more progress in this game. But one of the things that's key, absolutely key to moving forward is to take advantage of every single available outlet for you to gain rewards. 
okay? So you need to make sure you're doing your Shadow City all the time. You, if you hit a wall on story, you need to move into Supreme Fist and you need to push forward as far as you can in Supreme Fist. You will hit a wall there as well. When you hit that wall, that's fine. You move out and you try something else, okay? This will give you rewards, it will give you progression. Those rewards and progression can be used to grow your characters and make your characters even stronger. So, make sure you're doing this because again, those rewards, mission rewards, they're all key to your character's growth and your actual account growth, okay? Now, one of the biggest things that you could do that will actually help you see some massive gains on the battlefield is global operations, okay? Now, global operations is important to do. I've, I've only just figured out the solution to this abandoned wasteland. I might make a video. I don't know, right? But you need to do your trial grounds, okay? Doing your trial grounds not only will give you exploration rewards, which are kind of pointless. Not pointless, but like, pointless is the wrong word. They're going to give you things like your orbs to level up and stuff, which will help you. But more long term, you're going to get your main rewards. And doing your main rewards will actually give you these bad boys here. They will give you your fighting souls, okay? Your fighting souls are game changers. They are absolute game changers when it comes to your teams and your team builds, okay? So you've got various different ones and these are all available from a kind of combination of the stages I just showed you a second ago and then the inverse version, but you need to be quite far on for the inverse version, okay? Now these stages will not only give you these items, okay? They will then have another stage like a little bit further down that will give you the ability to upgrade these items, okay? And these items can be absolutely make or break when it comes down to your team builds and moving on in this game. So for example, if I look at Rose, who I've got just now, she's equipped with this one called Shelter. This, this right here was massive, okay? So you can see here, when the battle begins, all teammates gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 12% of their max HP, one character only. When the battle begins, all teammates gain a shield that absorbs damage equal to 16% of their max HP, one character only. Now what that basically means is, if you put this onto a couple of different characters, it's not going to give you multiple stacking shields or anything like that, but if you put it on a character, everyone in your team is going to get them. So don't double up. Some you can double up on, like the the, the one that's got Akuma or whatever. Um, it gives you crit and stuff. You can put that on multiple characters, but ones like the speed one and um, this one, you're not going to get a full benefit. So you want to kind of mix and match to give your characters a little bit more oomph, right? You can see that these not only give you those bonuses, they also carry more basic bonuses like HP bonuses and this one, crit resistance. Some of the other ones are like, I really like, it's like speed. Um, I'll go back and we'll see just now. I think it's this one here. It gives you an additional 12 speed. So, I mean, you can see the argument about putting that on more than one character. But again, you're not going to see the full benefit if you've got it on two characters. So I like to try and have a nice set of different ones for different characters. Again, this is going to help you with your speed, it's going to help you with your different bonuses, just on this one. Other ones will help your defense, other ones will help your attack, you know? So, get these, they're free. You can earn them in-game. You can level them via in-game. It's all ways to get past that barrier, that wall that you just cannot break down unless you get your characters to be a little bit stronger. So if combo switching doesn't work, if using these fighting souls don't work, then your other option is gear. Do not sleep on gear. Guys, seriously, I mentioned this before in the Shadow City video, but some people will say, oh, don't use your gems on gear. You've got to use them on summons. No, you don't. You don't. Gear is massive. Gear is absolutely massive in games like this. And if you can see a key piece of gear that is going to make your DPS hit harder, that is going to make your DPS do more damage, I mean, obviously this one's not ideal because it's wind and realistically it would be better if the faction matched. But an additional 10k power just with this bit of gear, okay? And 100, 1,650 additional attack, 150 additional defense, 20 additional pressure, 
an additional 8% damage reduction. All of that is boosted even more. Like, it's... Uh, uh, guys, it's insane. It's insane. You need gear. Do not sleep on gear. People overlook the importance of this. Do not be one of those people. This is the type of thing that will help you push on further, beat more content, and basically enjoy the game. Ultimately, if none of that is going to get you over the wall, then we go back to the first thing, which is this. Patience. Patience will always get you through. You'll never hit a wall in this game that you cannot pass. It'll just take your time, and it'll involve patience. These games are not designed to be played 24-7. That is not how idle games are really designed to play. Unless you are willing to wail non-stop. And guys, there's people on this game already that have spent more than 10k. And it's only a week old. Because the game will let you spend that money. But, let's be real, it's not worth it. right? So, patience is key to your growth. But, in the meantime, try these little tips. A lot of them will work and grow yourself, get yourself better, and move on further in this game. Anyway guys, I've been Hazing, I am going to make it a regular thing to put out content on this video. If you're new, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'm fairly straight to the point, Try not to do clickbait, so hey, here we go. Anyway, catch you in the next one dudes, peace out, see you later, bye.